Would you like to be able to style your controls? It's pretty easy. Let's take a look. So we'll start off here in Visual Studio 2013, create a new project. And we'll demonstrate styles. You can see here all the controls. And we'll just add a couple of buttons, a text box, another one. So we use styles to extract the visual property settings into uh, reusable resources. You can define your style directly in your XAML for a control, or you can define it uh, in an individual page's XAML or in the app.xaml. We're going to add a new folder for our styles. And we'll create a resource dictionary. So this way we'll have a central place where we can define all of our styles and reuse them throughout the project. Now there's two ways you can define your styles, implicitly or explicitly. Implicitly, you define the uh, target type for the style. Explicitly, you define the target type and an X key, and then you uh, set that. So here we're going to open it up in Blend. See how I just right-clicked on the project, opened in Blend. It's a lot easier to edit styles in Blend. So we'll right click and make a copy. Notice um, that we have this option here. We can define the resource dictionary that we want to define it in. And then we can find the styles that we want to apply, change the properties and we've got rounded corners now. So now we can go in here, change the color. And the styles are applied by state. So we'll just choose normal in this case. Select the state, then apply whatever changes you want. We can do a mouse over. Pointer over, I should say. So if you apply the target type, and you don't specify the X key, it'll apply to all controls of that type. And here's the XAML that was generated in Blend. We'll go back here to Visual Studio 2013, reload it, and run. There we go. I have a mouse over. So now I'd like to show you themed resources. 
introduced in Windows 8.1. There's also a difference in the way the XAML parser works in 8.1. It uh, only creates the resources when they're specifically requested by the XAML resource references. Okay, so here we've got our grid view. Let's run that and take a look. Here's the SAML. And we can see by default there's theme resources referenced here. See that theme resource, list view, item, placeholder, background theme brush, and uh, some other resources. So now let's create our own style. These are defined in the generic XAML, which is part of WinRT, not actually a separate file. We're going to create our own resource dictionary. Style Dictionary. We'll reference it here in our app.xaml. Now there is a, a theme dictionary, which is a special kind of merge dictionary that uh, holds resources that vary depending on which theme the user is currently using. Um, first I'm going to show you the themed resource themselves. So here's our resource dictionary. Let's just copy this style over at first so we can show you regular styles. We'll make this an explicit style with an X key. Now, as with static resources, theme resources shouldn't uh, make any forward references to any other resource that's defined further on in the XAML file. If you do so, even if the uh, forward reference actually works, which it probably won't, it'll cause real performance issues. Okay, so now we have our style. And there we go. Now let's make a theme dictionary.
Now you can create your own custom themes or you can reference the existing ones such as light and uh, dark high contrast Okay, so now we have a theme resource. We have one for default, and we have one for high contrast. Now, if I go in and change to high contrast, this is for people with visual impairment. can see how the uh, start page has changed. Whoa! <laughs> so there we go. Now our custom theme resource is being applied and we've got red text under the high contrast theme. And let's change that back. The system reevaluated every theme resource when the user changed the active theme at runtime. Normally it's done at startup. Well, that's it for this week. I hope you enjoyed the session. Please join us next time.